Welcome to today's edition of Three Minutes of Halacha. Today I want to explore yet a third perspective of the Birkat Torah, one that relates to an earlier conversation about whether or not the Birkat Torah is what is known as a Birkat HaShevach, a blessing of praise, a Shevach Harbanu, that God chose us and God gave us the Torah, or is it a Birkat HaMitzvah, La Sot Torah, something we were commanded to do, and through that command we first make the bracha. And the way I want to look at this third perspective is whether or not women are obligated to say the Birkat Torah. Now, technically, women are exempt from the formal obligation of Talmud Torah. We learned that in the Gemara and Kiddushin and Tetamud Bet. And so it would seem inconceivable to require women to say a Birkat Mitzvah over a commandment that they're exempt. But that's precisely what the Shulchan Aruch does in Simon Mem Zayin, where it says, the women recite the Birkat Torah. The Vilna Gaon looks at this and says the reason women recite the Birkat Torah is simply no different than the way they'll recite a bracha, for example, before shaking the lulav or before listening to a shofar, because ultimately, if they accept upon themselves obligations that they may not have really been obligated to do, to perform mitzvot that they don't have to do, they still would make a bracha. But What's strange about it is that it's the Mechaber, the author of the Shulchan Aruch, Rabbi Yosef Karo, who rules that they must recite the Birkat Torah, and he rules elsewhere in Siman Yud Zayin, according to the position of the Rambam, that women do not, may not, recite the bracha for mitzvot, asesha's man, grandma, for time-bound, positive mitzvot, because how could a person who is not obligated say the words, asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu, that we've been commanded to perform the mitzvah. Therefore, what we need to find is another way to explain why the mechaber is of the position that women need to recite this mitzvah. Either it's that women are really not exempt from learning Torah, or it might be that the birkat Torah are not birkot mitzvah themselves. Now, some explain that while women may be exempt from the obligation, the classic obligation of Talmud Torah, that doesn't mean that women are exempt from Torah learning because there are aspects of learning that they have to perform. This is mentioned by the Magen Avraham, who quotes the Beit Yosef, who cites the Maril and the Avar and others, as a mentioning that women have an obligation to study those halachot that they need to perform. In other words, women still have an obligation to learn Torah. It's just not the classic obligation of Talmud Torah itself. And therefore, that's why the Mechaber said that women make the bracha. However, the brisker of Rabbi Yitzchak Zev Salavechik Zetzal in his novel on the Rambam's Mishnah Torah offered a very different interpretation. Similar to one that we find in the Minchat Chinuch as well. Quoting his father, Reb Chaim Salavechik, the famous Reb Chaim Brisker, he explained that when it comes to Birkat Torah, the bracha is not recited as a fulfillment of a mitzvah to learn Torah, Talmud Torah, but rather it's a different idea entirely, that the Torah itself requires a blessing. And in fact, he points to the fact of the Gemara back in Brachot and Chof Aleph, citing the source of making this bracha was Kishem Hashem Akra, Havu Godel Elokein. Whenever I call out the name of God, I ascribe greatness to our God. If so, it has nothing to do with performing a mitzvah. And so while women may be exempt from the mitzvah of Talmud Torah, they're not excluded from the entity of Torah itself, from the gift of Torah itself. Their learning is considered Talmud Torah. And they make a bracha but it's all about the greatness of Torah that we're blessing. And that's why the Mechaber said they have to make the bracha. In other words, the Brishka Rav was of the position that the Birkat Torah are not Birkat Mitzvot, but rather it's a Birkat Shevach, but rather it's a sense of praise that we have for God. And that's why women make the bracha every morning.